Hello everyone, this is Joshua, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the content section in Fanshawe Online. Now, content is where your professors are going to put the important documents that they want you to have. And for our online learning, it's going to be where most of your um, learning will take place. So to get to the content page, we need to go to your EAP class. And if you want to find it, you can use this nine square box and then find your class. Then we're going to go to content. Now it's going to take you to the last plate page that you are on um, when you open it. So if you're looking at something and you go to another page and come back, you'll still be looking at the same page. And on the side here, we can access the different folders. So we've got some for core, listening and speaking, applied. We also have access to our virtual classroom here. And we've got some different information about the course and some important information about dates. You've got some information here just about Fanshawe College in general that you may want to look at and some program resources as well that could be helpful for you. Now, we're really going to be focusing on core listening and speaking and applied in this video. And when we click on it, you'll notice that it opens up a lot of smaller folders. So each of these bigger folders has smaller folders inside. And when I did that, it opened up the core folder up here at the top. And here I can see all of the different files. Now, all of these folders can be made smaller by clicking these arrows. And you can see that these are just smaller folders within this bigger folder. Okay, if I go down to a different major folder, for example, speaking and listening, all of those core folders are going to disappear because they're going to be closed with the core folder. You can see that they're a little bit more um, indented over. There's a little more space here. So that kind of shows you that this is in that folder, but it can be hard to notice um, where these go. So if you notice that a folder kind of disappears, maybe it's because it was in another folder and you've clicked away from it. So if we look here, for example, at the applied folder, if I click here, it's going to show me the applied folder and all of the other folders. But if I click one of these folders that are in the applied folder, it's going to open up that folder only. So I'm only going to see what's in this folder. So if you stay at the top level, you can see everything and you can look in the smaller folders. But if you go to these smaller folders, that's all you're going to see. So. We're going to use this as an example here. This is a, a research assignment, so your professors might give you some um, important instructions, and you may want to remember where they are. And we talked about this earlier. This is the bookmark. We saw that on the last page. And if I click here, it will add a bookmark. This means that it will be faster for me to find it, because instead of having to go through all of those folders, if I go back to the first page of content, I can just go to my bookmark, and here it is. Well, it was actually this one, but I had another one bookmarked, but I'm sorry, here we are. And it's bookmarked. If I want to remove that bookmark, I just click it again. Now, we can see that when we open up uh, one of these documents that have been put onto Fanshawe Online, it's going to give us a preview window. Now, this doesn't always work very well. As you can see, these pictures didn't come into the viewing window. Now, I can scroll up and down this document here and read it on Fanshawe Online. I can also scroll all the way down. And you'll notice here that I've got the option to view it as a page. If you click that, all of a sudden the image has appeared and it's viewing it as a page now. So that might be a trick if you're noticing that it doesn't look right. Try clicking the view as page instead of view as text. And then it may look a little bit better. 
However, it may still be better to download it. So if I click download, it's going to give me some options to download it. And then I can have a copy of this on my own computer. Depending on your web browser, it might just automatically download. And that would be, if it is just automatically downloading and you don't know where it's going, it's likely going to your downloads file um, folder, right? So down here to downloads, and then it's probably in one of these folders if you haven't changed it. That's usually where it automatically downloads. Now down here at the bottom, um, we do have a few more options. Now that we're viewing this as a page and not as text, we can click down here to scroll through the different pages if we want to look at them individually. We can search for something, think of a word. We can zoom in and out. And then we can also make it fit into the page. This allows us to go um, to different pages if we know which page we want to go to or to go to the next page directly. It's also possible for us to make it full screen by using this button here. It should also be noted that if you come to the arrow up here, it will allow you to download it as well. If you would like to return to an earlier page, we can do so up here. So I can go back to the applied section or go back to the table of contents. Now I've gone to a different um, page here just to show you um, how it can look a little bit differently. This particular um, submission folder has descriptions on it, which will give you some more information. They could also contain links. And the other thing that you may want to pay attention to down here, right? first we have the title up here, but over here we have the kind of file that it is. So that will tell you exactly what's happening. If it's a link, it might take you to a new page. 